My name is Jeff Mullen. I'm the uh, Secretary and Chief Executive Officer of the Department of Transportation, and I've been asked to talk to you a little bit about the Accelerated Bridge Program and specifically the project that we have underway out in your town in Wellesley, the Cedar Street Bridge, as it passes over Route 9. The Accelerated Bridge Program is Governor Patrick's initiative that was launched on the morning of the bridge collapse in Minnesota, the tragic bridge collapse over Interstate 35 West in Minnesota. That morning when we received the news of the bridge collapse, we called the senior team. This was the summer of 2007, or the, actually the spring of 2007. We called our bridge team in and we started to get a handle on the structurally deficient bridges in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts and really the bridge health index. So how many of our bridges are in bad condition? How many are structurally deficient? How many are functionally obsolete? And how many feature what happened in Minnesota, which was that was a fracture critical bridge, meaning that there was one member, that, uh, several members that, had, that did not have redundant design. So if one failed, one member failed, the whole bridge would fail. And that's exactly what happened in Minnesota. So we undertook a review of that all in the Commonwealth has got about 5,000 bridges throughout the state. And we determined at that time that about 540 545 of those 5,000 bridges, so a little bit more than 10%, were either functionally obsolete or structurally deficient. That does not mean that they're not safe. It means that they are not performing for the purposes for which they were designed and needed to be fixed. Um, unfortunately, at that time, not only was that number about 540 or 545, but we were also placing another bridge on that list every single month. So it was continually escalating. What we decided to do is invest about $3 billion in specifically in these bridges, $2 billion of Commonwealth funds and a $1 billion from the Federal Highway Administration in, a pro, in attacking about 250 of the bridges. That's the idea. Um, since, the, since the program was launched in 2008, so about a year after, or about nine months after we began to design it, we've got 140 projects that have either been finished or are under construction right now uh, and our bridge number of structurally deficient bridges has been reduced from 545 to about 458, 457. So the key is not only have we stopped putting another bridge on the list every month but we've reversed the trend and all in we've reduced the number of structurally deficient bridges in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts by about 16 percent. So that's good news for the DOT and it's good news for the motoring public around the Commonwealth. It's also true that these bridges are everywhere in the state. So it's not just in Wellesley. You will see if you travel around the state like I do, you, yellow barrels and detour roads in place, places in, in almost every single community in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. We've got about 450 active construction projects right now. And we're investing again this year about a billion dollars into your roads and bridges. Um, the Cedar Street Bridge is a part of this effort. It is part of what we call in the Commonwealth, in the Department of Transportation, the new normal. We're trying to do projects better and quicker with the idea being to get in and get out as quick as possible. I don't have to tell people in Wellesley how long it took us to do one particular bridge uh, uh, um, uh, uh, for quite a while. Uh, Representative Wolf reminded me of that quite a bit. I know the bridge is, is now open. Um, this bridge will be installed in one weekend. Starting tonight around 10 o'clock, we will close traffic on Route 9. Traffic will be detoured. There will be a slight detour in place. I realize it's July 4th weekend, but uh, we've determined that this is the, the optimal time and the detour is, is minimal, so we're hoping that the inconvenience to the motoring public will be minimal. At that time, we will begin to make preparations to demolish the current bridge uh, the carrying Cedar Street over Route 9, and then put the new bridge, which has been constructed right next to the Cedar Street, if you see it there on Route 9, we're putting that in place with the use of a, of a, of a heavily mechanized piece of equipment that will be, will be carrying the, uh, the heavy uh, bridge deck into place. We expect to be placing the bridge on Sunday, and by 10 o'clock on Monday afternoon, Monday night, we'll be done. Uh, so uh, the, and the detour will be lifted. We've got about a 72-hour window to do this. Now people say, well, is it possible to do it? We know it's possible. We did the same uh, construction method in carrying uh, Route 2 over Route 2A out in Phillipston. That's an award-winning project that we completed last year, so we know it's possible. People who are following the news 
know that we're doing the uh, bridges of, over every weekend up in uh, I-93 and, and, uh, in Medford, so it's possible. I would ask the people of Wellesley to be patient with us over the weekend as we uh, detour traffic around the area, but if you're interested in coming down, please come down and see it. We're very interested in showing you our new normal, how we can get projects done quicker and faster and limit the amount of convenience to you, the motoring public, your taxpayers, and people in Wellesley, of course, pay tolls on our turnpike as well. So uh, we're happy to uh, share this information with you. We will, we will be putting photos on our website. We'll have some time-lapse photography on our website, on our YouTube page, etc. cetera. Um, we're very interested in educating you about what we're doing, and we're very interested in your feedback. So I appreciate your time, uh, and I look forward to uh, a successful completion of our project out in Wellesley, and I'll be out there myself taking a good hard look at it. So thank you very much.